Welcome back to The Sims 4 Cottage Living Rags to Riches. Thanks so much to EA Game Changers for making this early access Let's Play possible. Now let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so last time we left off here in the town having made eight <laughs> huge simoleons. Uh, this time I'm gonna try and just fish uh, whilst we wait for our crops to grow because we have a few plants just here. We have blueberries, chocoberries, and raspberries all growing here in my little alleyway. This is all mine, this beautiful alleyway. And I also have a frog, which I can't do anything with. So it's just there. Uh, <laughs> so we got those growing. So we just got to wait for that to, to take hold. We also do have a few quests, one of which is to deliver three chocoberries, which hopefully if we go back again tomorrow to the uh, the bram bramble wood, I think that's what it was called. And we can hopefully harvest some more while we're there. Maybe, I don't know. If not, we'll just have to wait until uh, this grows. And we also do need to deliver a single serve of aubergine, parmesan, and pumpkin scones to the creature keeper. Or should I say pumpkin scones? Uh, which might take a while <laughs> to do that. I mean, we could just remove these. Well, we could remove this one. I'm, I, I wish I had comments. Unfortunately, we have to record all these early access videos before we can post any of them. So I'm not going to have any comments, unfortunately, for the first part of this series. I don't know what's going on with the watching fox thing. We'll try it again if I find another one. I also caught another fish, which is great news. Uh, we can have a look at the new notebook as well, the redesigned notebook. Wow, cool. That, gave, that gives me a lot of information. So <laughs> later on, when we actually get all the new cottage living stuff in here, in here it actually has a lot more information about cottage living stuff. Uh, I just thought they maybe had added stuff for fish. I guess not. <laughs> That's really not helpful. Anyway, let's try catching some more. <gasps> Wait, there's a bush here. Wild blueberry. <gasps> oh, yes. Let's go harvest those. Okay, so I caught two fish at the end of the day. Uh, we got a perch and a minnow. And oh my gosh, we got 10, um, 10 blueberries. Now I would like to sell those, but I think I need to eat them because I am kind of hungry. And if I recall, I feel like eating a lot of fruit in this game is actually not a good thing. Doesn't that make you seem kind of like not... The healthiest? I don't know. Uh-oh. Agnes was trying to talk to me. Oh, Jeffrey and Nancy Landing Grab are still over there. All right, how's my hunger? Pretty good. All right, let's leave it there. Now, oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, from eating harvested fruits of vegetables. Chaz felt great when he proudly plucked some produce and started munching away, decimated and devoured. The vindictive vegetables made their final stand, waging war in his digestive tract. Yeah. Yeah, now my blood is going to go down a lot quicker. Yep, I thought that happens, but that's okay. Should we meet some of the other new people, like the other new townies? Simon Scott. I love that hairstyle, actually. That's so good. And, oh, this is the grocery deliverer. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go meet these guys. Oh, Eliza Pancakes. Yeah, she made it all the way to the UK. Sweet. Hey, guys. I'm the new guy that lives in the alley. Okay. Well, that's actually really rude. That that actually really, <laughs> that really hurts my feelings, to be honest. This guy's cool, though. Good to know. Can I, can I ask you for some money? Chat about property values. <laughs> so, uh, how about that market? How's that going? All right, well, I'm going to go pass out now because I'm about to faint. Uh, so, see you later. Oh, my gosh. Look at my bladder go down. Okay, hang on. I can't. <laughs> Those stupid berries. Hang on, I gotta go to the toilet real bad. Like, real bad. Look how fast it's going down! He's not gonna make it! He's actually... Oh, no. Oh, I didn't make it. I got nowhere near. Oh, gosh. Now, my hygiene is super low. But, in this world, we can swim in the river, right? Does that get my hygiene up? Swim. Oh, I'm too uncomfortable. Huh. Uh, well, I'm gonna go to the bathroom because I think we can probably get our hygiene up a little bit if we use the bathroom. Man, we are having... Well, is this is our second night. We are having a rough time. Oh my God, was that a car driving? <gasps> Cars! Enfid on Bagley! Henry Ford invented the, the car on Bagley Avenue. Cars are confirmed. Here they are! Yeah! There it goes! It's a hint, guys. Um, okay, can we use the bathroom, please? Like, I know you just used it, but I'm gonna need you to use it like 10 times in a row. Just to like wash your hands. Oh no, he's gonna pass out. Okay, and down he goes in front of the bathrooms. Fantastic. <laughs> How's he using them all at the same time? Anyway, that actually did work. My hygiene's pretty good now. So let's go find a nice bench. How are these plants going here too? Because if these start growing, we can totally harvest those as well. I'm definitely, I'm definitely mooching. Oh, a new dig 
big thing is there. So in the morning we can sell these. I don't know how long they last. Like I feel like it's not gonna be fresh for much longer. I think, were they excellent quality before? I think the quality's gone down. Okay, just another fossil. I feel like I should probably stop digging up stuff because I'm not gonna be able to sell it. Whoa, the water texture of that fountain looks super funny when you go fast speed. Cause it's like the water's just flowing across. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> All right, let's keep napping. Come on, just a little little longer, a little longer. How, how are my plants going by the way? Oh my gosh, can these grow any slower? Come on, I need these. That's my livelihood. That's all I have to my name. Oh, you know what? I probably should have planted these if I'm not going to sell them. They're only worth $14. It's probably worth planting them. Let's plant. We get four, five, six. I think that means we have four blueberries, right? Because we have another raspberry, chocoberry, blueberry. Yeah, so we'll have four blueberries. Let's go do that. Because then we can sort of all group them together later on. Now, I'm not intending to make all my money from gardening. It's just... Early game, that's kind of what we have to do here. I obviously want to get animals. Ideally sooner rather than later. And to do that, I need a garden <laughs> and fish. All right, let me go sell some items. I also need to do these tasks because these also give me money. Like they pay pretty well. I just haven't been able to do them. Okay, I'm going to sell my fish and I'll sell the rest of these blueberries. Ah, oh, $21. Look at that. You know what? I could probably, can I buy a meal now? If I go to the pub, I might be able to. I know it's not really what I should be spending my money on, but I guess I don't need to. We'll probably find another barbecue meal in the national park again, right? <laughs> well, let's visit the pub. Let's check it out. So here's the pub. Can I get, uh, hang on, order food. Is this, oh, grab chips. You know what? Let's grab a, grab a bowl of chips. That's actually really nice of the pub owner to give me some chips, helping out the less fortunate. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will pay it forward. Oh, Katrina! When I have money again. All right, well, I'm not going to buy anything here. So let's not do that. Let's... I want to complete this. We're completing this today because I need the money. Let's go get the... Those stupid chocolate berries. <laughs> I need the chocolate berries. All right, so there's the National Park. Then over here is our main area. Let's see. <sighs> They haven't grown. Do I have any of these grown up here? Nah. Any foxes up here? Where are these damn choco berries? <laughs> why do I keep trying? All right, well, why don't I just try fishing again? Because uh, I just had a little look around. Nothing is harvestable yet. So I might as well do a fish. Maybe they'll somehow pop into existence and then I can harvest it. <gasps> wait, 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 foxes. How do I watch them? How how do I? They definitely came out of that. I feel like I can't do this. I feel like I need to interact with them, but I have nothing. I guess I, oh, I should have kept those blueberries because I have nothing to give them. So maybe that's why I can't do anything with them. Well, I guess I'll keep fishing. <laughs> Likes fishing. Yes, I do like fishing, you know? So those foxes definitely did leave from here. So, oh yeah, there it is. So if I go back over here, what if I, what if I just stay here? Will they come back? Is there like something I can interact on around here? Not that I can see. So why don't we just, um, I guess let's wait here. <laughs> I'll stand here and wait. Oh, receive a Finchwick favor. What is that? I will receive one. Oh, what? No, he stopped. Why did he stop? Where's my favor? Dude, give me my favor. I need my favor. <laughs> No! Well, why did you give up? <gasps> fox. Is that a fox? It is a fox. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. I can watch it. I can watch it. There is a watch option. Go. <laughs> I can finally watch a fox. Did it work? Yeah. Well, I don't know where it went or what I watched, but it worked. Okay, so there is actually an option to watch them. I don't know why I wasn't able to before. Oh my God, it's all the way up here now. Can I watch it again? Will it count? I just need money to be honest. <laughs> Watch. Why did you go all the way up there? Okay, I think it has to be a different fox. <laughs> can I, um, oh wait, actually there's a waterfall here. Can I shower in it? Oh, come on. You let me shower in the Sulani waterfall. Oh, the pu public bathroom's just here. Actually, that's handy. Okay, so there's that fox. Can I watch it now? See, I can't watch this one. I don't understand why some I can watch and some I can't. <gasps> There's food, yes. Oh, there's so much food. This is the best thing about barbecues. All right, did he make it to the bathroom? Okay, good. Then we're gonna eat this, the grilled chicken. Oh, we are thriving, we are surviving, we are thriving. Oh, that's carrot again. Okay, we've already watched carrot. I think I need a different fox. Wait, why didn't you go to the toilet? You literally, I saw you walk into it. What are you doing? <laughs> I saw you walk into it and then you're just like, nah. Okay, there we go, that's better. Oh, actually you don't need any more food, don't do that. No, 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 don't be sad. You're fine. You're fine, dude. Got to find some more foxes. I just want to get my money from this dude. All right, I'm going to go nap up here. Oh, it's the pub owner. Oh, you're Sarah Scott. So you must be, are you Simon? Yeah, I was going to say, oh, that's your spouse. Oh, cool. 
I got the townies in this world are actually really cool. I like them. I think they've done a really good job. Especially because they've gone for this whole like villager aspect where we are supposed to, it's supposed to be like small town, small village feel and you're supposed to get quests from them. I think they've done a really good job creating all the characters. Now let's have a nap whilst we wait for a fox or harvestable plants or anything. All right, so energy is not too bad. Um, foxes, foxes. Oh, it's 5 a.m. 6 a.m. Any harvestables? Oh, yes! Oh, finally. Okay, so these are the blueberries. That's fine. But it means I should be able to harvest. Because now, like I said, I told you, it's 6 a.m. is when the harvestables are, are ready. And if you're not there at 6 a.m., they're not ready to be harvested. Okay, chocoberries. Oh, my gosh, we have 10 chocoberries. I, why has it been the hardest thing for me to do is get these stupid berries? The creature keepers all the way over here. What are you doing over here, dude? Deliver three chocoberries. Let's get that done. And maybe we'll see a fox along the way. Just give me like an hour and a half to get there because I stink and I'm sad because I haven't spoken to anyone. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey man, here's your damn chocoberries. Yeah, here's your chocoberries. <laughs> it cost me everything. <laughs> Look how just disheveled he is. He's like, here's your stupid chocoberries. I spent my whole life out here for them. All right, now what he should do is give me a mushroom mash. Wait, I have to do something else now? Hang on a second. I need six spicy mushrooms? What the heck, man? I thought that was all you needed. Oh, okay, well, first of all, this guy really led me on. That's not okay. But I think, uh, well, we got spicy mushrooms from here. So I'm hoping, although these are, it says nightly mushrooms. So I think they potentially change nightly is my assumption of that description. Because last time we harvested it, I think it was the spicy one. But it potentially might not be this time. Oh my gosh, come on, hurry up. <laughs> I know you're like about to die, but like, can you just harvest the... the the, the mushrooms? Oh, nightly. No, they literally are nightly mushrooms. Well, where did we get a spicy mushroom from then? Wasn't it like, oh, there was like a mystery mushroom, wasn't there? Oh, there should be more plants in here somewhere too. Where was the other one? There was one around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Harvest all these. Get all the chocoberries we can. And down there is all the raspberries and more chocoberries. Oh, so many harvestables. I don't know where those spicy mushrooms came from then. Maybe we'll just have to buy them. Look at all this produce we got though. Produce? The produce. All right, let's go back to town. <laughs> my gosh. Oh my lord. Oh boy, we, uh, we're having a rough time. Oh, Nancy and Jeffrey Landgrab are still standing outside of this house. Can you guys leave, <laughs> please? All right, let's go sell all this produce, sell items, and then hopefully I'll go to the bathroom for a bit and then we'll have a nap. Now, I could plant some of these. I think I'll keep, well, I'll get rid of all the blueberries because we planted four of those. Uh, chocolate berries, I'm going to keep three because we planted one and I'll plant another three. Like, I'll have four of everything, I think. Uh, night mushrooms, so in that case, I'll sell one, although they're worth quite a bit. So one and raspberries, we need three as well, don't we? We got 136 bucks. Dang. Oh my gosh. So can I actually afford anything that I need? Oh my gosh, frame rate. Can I afford anything that I need with that? <gasps> these are only $10. I could have bought these so long ago. Well, I'm going to get this one because there's this one that looks like it's been nicely like tilled and everything. But I feel like I'm living in an alleyway. So I might just get this one. That's like a patch. So we're going to do this. We're going to move the blueberries into here. Oh, and then I'm going to get it. So these how you grow all the new stuff. Uh, you have to get the giant stuff. So, and that's how we can grow like the aubergine and pumpkins and stuff. So I'm not going to use these for any more of my plants. I'll keep the blueberries in that one, but I'm going to get a few of these because I now, if I go back here, first of all, that should have completed. Yeah. And then if we go purchase oversized crops, seeds, aubergine, yes. And pumpkin. Because apparently we needed that, didn't we? Is that what we needed? So we get those two. We can now plant. No, plant, oversized crop, aubergine. I maybe should have gone to the toilet first. I think I'm going to pee myself, but that's okay. This is more important. <laughs> Poor guy. It is a rough life. Okay, so it starts, so this is a cool thing. It actually starts out as nine, but later on as it starts growing, you'll see it either go to, I think it can go down to four plants, two plants, or one plant. One plant is the biggest size, four is the smallest. So you get small, medium, and large depending. Um, but yeah, we'll see that later. Plant oversized crop, pumpkin. There we go. Cool. So those are ready to go. Um, now, the other thing I have to do is purchase one cow, chicken, or llama. Well, how much is a coop? First of all, $400, actually not bad. 500 for the animal shed, also not bad. I don't know if we should have a coop in an alleyway, but we might have to. I think we probably will end up doing that. Um, all right, well, I'm sorry. I, oh my gosh. Am I actually gonna die? We can't die in episode two of Rags of Riches. Okay, let's try use the bathroom. I think I might actually pass out from energy before I can use the bathroom. Yeah, uh, 
Yeah, there we go. Okay, we've passed out. That's okay. We'll try again. <laughs> okay, I'm waddling. I'm waddling. How long do I have? <laughs> Bladder fail in 40 minutes. Oh, come on. Come on, you're so close. 26 minutes, 20 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes, 9. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. He literally made it with like a second to spare. Oh. Now, I was keeping these to plant, so I guess I can't eat those, can I? Uh, I do need food. I do need food. Anyone, why does no one grill here? They all grill in the park. No one, oh, that's right. No, I can't. I can't even do this because we have the lot challenge where I have to own the ingredients to be able to do this. So I can't even grill with my money because that's my lot challenge. No. All right, let's uh, let's go to the pub and get a bowl of chips. Maybe they'll take pity on me. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Hey there. Um, I'm going to grab a bowl of chips. I, again, I, I could spend money, but we only have a hundred bucks, so maybe not. Uh, bowl of chips, please. Thank you. You're so nice. Oh, she likes bartending. That's good. Oh, never mind. I'm just going to sleep here. Is that cool? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, there's actually a kitchen in here. Oh, I can cook here because this isn't a lot challenge. No, nah, I'm not going to do that. I feel like that's kind of that's the, you know, that's not in the spirit of the lot challenge, you know. All right, let me try grabbing some. Okay, now may I have your finest chips. I don't know how it fills me up so much, but no complaints. Honestly, no complaints. All right, so hygiene and energy and also social and fun is really, it's all just rough. So let's say friendly introduction. I'm probably going to pass out in a few minutes. So please, please don't be alarmed if I collapse to the floor. But um, it's lovely to meet you. Um, uh, what, what do you do? Um, ask about the day. Chaz has learned that Rami is a consignment commentator at Smog Inc. There you go. A lot of villagers around Henford and Bagley have been needing help lately. I know. I know this stupid creature keeper guy is having me run around town. I nearly died. I nearly died just before because of this guy. And she's like, oh, that's him. The creature keeper, he's a funny guy, isn't he? Jeez. All right. Discuss if the chicken came first. That's a good question. You seem the friendly sort. You know, if you want to help out a few of the important local villagers and are often in need of a hand. I know, I'm already doing that. A lot of the villagers around Hampton and Bagley have been needing help. Yeah, I know. You don't have to repeat yourself. It's okay. Okie dokie. So let's return back to my own lot. So then hopefully... By the time morning comes, all the plants can progress. Like, again, it's that 6 a.m. thing where they can't, you kind of need to be there for it to happen, otherwise it doesn't. Because if my plants can start growing every day, then we can actually start harvesting and selling every day, which is great. So we kind of need to do that. Uh, now, before I can do anything on my lot, let's probably go have a nap. Because <laughs> I, I am I even going to make it to the bench? I don't know. Was I going to do that? Oh, I was going to do that thing where he's... he's he... <laughs> I really hate, he, he gets to the bench, he naps, and he's like, oh, I'm laying down, I'm so tired. I am so tired, I must get up and collapse onto the floor. Makes no sense. I really wish they would somehow not have them do that. Now, I believe my lot is also off the grid, is it? It should be, so I don't know why I can play games on my phone. My lot's off the grid. Oh, well, whatever. I was just gonna say, let's just play games on the phone to get my fun up. Oh, it's 6 a.m. I wonder if the plant's progressing. Hang on, let's have a look. Ooh, okay. So let's go water all of these. But these are definitely still nowhere near growing, okay. So that's my aubergine, status fine, lovely. The pumpkins are over here. Got these two plants over there. Look at this beautiful alleyway, isn't it great? Now, with the oversized crops, you can also do encourage crop growth, which is a new option on these. I don't think it's on these plants, but it's kind of like, I guess it's just tending to them. He's doing some extra weeding, you know, all that kind of stuff, just to help them grow, hopefully bigger. Because if we get a really big size one, Oh boy, we can sell it for more. All right, now I've also got, so these crops here, I actually do want to plant these. I like, so mushrooms are going to grow super quick. So I think those actually be a pretty good idea to plant. And I'll plant all these and I'll plant this chocoberry as well. Wait, why did I only keep one chocoberry? I should have kept three. Oh, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. All right, here's my little alleyway garden. Hey, gardening level two, there you go. Can I water everything? See, look, look at these mushrooms. They're already like at this stage. And those sold for 24 a pop, by the way, so. They may potentially sell for a lot. All right, hygiene and hunger is rough. So let's go down to use the bathroom. So I'm just going to take a spin in this bathroom a few times uh, just to get my hygiene up. Then we're going to go back to the uh, the national park because there, first of all, people were grilling food all the time. So I'm definitely going to eat that. And we need to see another fox and we need to give this guy six spicy mushrooms. Oh, actually, can I just buy those? Let me just check. Buy grocery items. Okay. I'm going to need you to, to walk a little faster than that. Do you have spicy mushrooms? Vegetable? No. Uh, ingredients, maybe? Hmm. I got small mushrooms, small pumpkin. I don't. Small aubergine. Oh, actually, I could. 
Wait, so what do I need for that? Deliver a single serving of the aubergine parmesan and pumpkin scones. How do I even do that? Hang on, let me... What does that say? What do I... To be cooked at home or bought at any pub. Once cooked or procured, it's like deliver single serving. Okay, aubergine parmesan and pumpkin scone. All right, maybe we should just go to the pub and buy it. That's probably gonna be easier. Let's at least get some of these tasks done this episode because <laughs> I can't be two episodes in still with all these early games. Look, it's difficult with Rags of Riches, okay? I'm sure all the other simmers out there are so far into the game right now. And I just don't have any money, okay? All right, it's difficult. It's difficult. <laughs> oh dear. I guess I could fish more. All right, hang on. How much are these meals? Please tell me they're not expensive. It, so it says I can bought in a pub. And when it says bought in a pub, I don't want my sim to eat it. I feel like he's gonna eat it if I try to order it, right? Order food, aubergine parmesan. Okay, it's only nine dollars. So let's try. Let's try. He's like, oh my gosh, you're actually giving me money today. Okay, aubergine parmesan. Please. Oh well, that was quick. All right, now don't. Do not touch it. Do not touch it. Do not touch it. Put in inventory. Put it in your inventory now. <laughs> do not touch it. All right, then I will get chips for free. Okay, that's good. So item cannot be sold or deleted. That's fine, that's fine. I don't want to sell it. Can I get a bowl of chips? Oh, hey man, you're right here. Hang on. You better not order what I'm, I'm just buying for you. All right, and then I also need to order, uh, what was the other thing you wanted? Oh, beef wellington. Yum. Oh, cottage pie. What are the pumpkin scone? This guy just wants me to buy him food. Hey man, if you wanted to go out with me, maybe you should have been nice. <laughs> just ask. All right, let's deliver these stupid food. All right. So if I do that, I'll actually get $90. So definitely a profit. So there's that. Here's your Uber Eats delivery from right next door, like right next to you at the pub. Here you go, dude. Okay, we're gonna get behind you. Like a back alley deal. <laughs> Buy in the pub. Hey man, don't tell the bartender, but I, I hooked you up. Oh yeah, there we go. It likes it. Now give me my money. Thank you. Okay, Chaz has discovered information about an egg, which has been added to the notebook. Oh, I guess he gave me an egg. Just a standard egg. So yeah, this is what I was talking about in, in here. So fish like doesn't tell me anything. Great, thanks. But here uh, we can find information about all this. Oh, and I got a bottle of milk too. Cool. So egg, we can make an egg by having hens, uh, using friendly treats. Uh, we can use it for cooking and it's quite common. And milk, standard milk that cows provide. You, cow, you can also feed a cow a friendly treat to remove the side effects from other treats. Uh, used for a tasty beverage. So this guy gave me $90 and he also gave me some milk. He gave me some sugar. Minor growth fertilizer. Ooh. Dang, he actually gave me a lot. All right. Okay. All right. You know what? I'm going to take it back. You did make these challenges a little difficult, but um, thank you for all this stuff you've given me. Pumpkin stew as well. Dang, why don't I eat a bowl of chips? Oh, yummers. That looks divine. Please accept some small tokens of my appreciation. I'll come in handy next time you prepare a meal. Now, if you excuse me, I've got some tasty food to tuck into. All righty, dude. Uh, and then I still need to do the foxes. I need the spicy mushrooms too. All right, well, should we get a task then from... Well, actually, what is the pub owner? What do you want? Let's... Let's see what tasks you have. Oh, I don't even know you. How do I not know you? Haven't I been ordering free food from you for a while? <laughs> okay. Offer help with errands. What errands do you have? We need four hundred dollars for a chicken coop. All right, one seventy-five or ninety. So I guess the ninety one's gonna be the easier ones, right? I've been meaning to pay a visit to some of my friends around the village, but I'm awfully busy. Would you mind taking a stroll, and seeing how everyone's doing? Oh, yes. That sounds so easy. Get the village package from. Someone. Does it seem out there with a package for Chaz to deliver? It's a matter of finding them. Oh, okay. Is it you? Oh, okay, I can't talk to you. Is it Mrs. Crumplebottom? Ask for village package. Oh, she's not gonna like that. She already doesn't like me. Hey, uh, do you have the package? Uh, the village package, you know, the thing going around town? Oh, you do? Oh, well, that. Okay. Alrighty then. <laughs> Thank goodness. I've been lugging the package around and just waiting for someone to come collect it. Please see that it gets to them. I mean, to be honest, you could have just, it's, you could have just walked there. E either of you, really. But that's fine. And yeah, that's fine. You can pay me $90 for it. Deliver village package. Man, if I knew it was this easy to make money in the first place. Wait a second, you have mushrooms on your store. Maybe she has the spicy mushrooms. Anyway, let's go deliver this package. Here's your $90 delivery. Thank you for my $90. Uh, I unlocked the cow plant cross stitch pan. Should, what should we name it? Oh, cool. Uh, one of the best things about living in Hedford on Bagley is a sense of community. Everyone helps foster. Thanks for checking in with a few of the locals. I didn't. I literally just spoke to Agnes Crumplebottom and that was it. All right, so I've actually got quite a few little things in here now. Look at all this. I got bang. Oh, bang is a mash. See, the problem is these are going to go off before I can eat them because I don't have anywhere to put them. Anyway, let's go check out Agnes Crumplebottom's store. Do you have spicy mushrooms here? Do you have regular mushrooms? Do you have a verdant mushroom? No. Oh, chuckleberries. But no... 
From what I can tell, spicy mushrooms. Okay. I'm sure we find them in the other area, but let's go 262. Oh, hang on. Should we see? Wait, let's see what, what, what do you want, crumple bottom? What do you want, crumple face? Alrighty. So then, yeah, the 91s are definitely the easier ones as we've discovered. How's that garden of yours going? You do have a garden, right? I do actually, I do. I'm always on the lookout for some new plants. So it's settled. You're going to help me, am I? Harvest a homegrown raspberry bush. Oh, you know what? I actually can do that. I can do that. Not yet, but tomorrow probably. Right, I'm going to go to National Park and we're going to get spicy mushroom, right? Is that how, how do we get spicy mushroom? I don't know. Where did I even get it from the first time? I just found it. Hmm. I don't know. Well, maybe we'll see some foxes out here because we also got to do that. I'm going to do a little bit of fishing. Pick strange mushroom. Oh, maybe it was a strange mushroom. Is that where we got the spicy one from? So what is this going to give me? Let's see. Oh, it is strange, but it gave me one that I didn't. Well, I guess it's giving me, I should probably plant all these so I can get them when I need them. A lovely mushroom. This wild fungi gives Sims a flirtatious feeling. Okay. A little bit of an aphrodisiac mushroom. All right. Say no more. Just trying to keep an eye out for the foxes now. Can we honest, didn't think the whole fox thing would be the most difficult bit. <laughs> I think I need to go home because I need my plants to grow. All right, do I need to do anything here? Purchase seeds, uh, fertil oh, fertilized crop. Oh, that's right. Minor growth fertilizer. Yeah, let's definitely fertilize that. Come on, hurry up, dude. Sweet. Oh, I still have it. Fertilized crop. Yeah, I can use it multiple times. Sweet. Oh, it's still there. Can I use it again? How many How many times can I do it? I feel like this is not a good thing, but apparently I can just keep doing it, right? Oh, wait. Oh, no, no. I can still do it. Can I fertilize these? No. So this is a separate one for these guys. All right. Well, hang on. This, this is still good. I'm going to eat that pumpkin stew. I may as well. I want it to go to waste. Mmm. Pretty good. How much is the cheapest bed in this game? We don't, unfortunately. I don't think there's any tents, right? Because it's just base game and um, a tentacle tom. <laughs> Okay, so the cheapest bed I can get is actually the kid's bed or the cot. Can't you drag this one around with you? Like you can put it in your inventory, but it's no, it's 255. I'm trying to get a chicken coop. Unfortunately, I can't do that. What is this mushroom worth? A dollar? How's that one only worth a dollar? All right, well, let's go sleep on this bench. Oh yeah, what about these plants over here? What's happening here? They haven't grown at all. All right. Oh wait, there they go. <laughs> they literally just did. All right, let's keep napping. Maybe by morning this chocoberry bush will have a harvest. Let's see. Oh, what happened to my beautiful plants? <gasps> it is harvestable. Yes. Well, hang on. No, don't harvest. Let's go. Let's go this way first. There we go to the toilet. All right, use the bathroom. There we go. And I'll just use it a couple more times just to get my hygiene up. There we go. Now, isn't there a festival on? Is it on today? No, tomorrow. Saturday is the chicken fair. I don't have any chickens yet, so I don't know if I'll be able to get any. Let's go harvest all my plants, which is currently just the one, <laughs> my chocoberry bush. And it looks like it has at least three, maybe. I don't know how many are actually here. <gasps> Watch, watch, watch the fox, watch the fox, watch the fox. Quick, quick, hurry up, get back here, where are you? Dude, run, run, run! Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. Give fox report to creature keeper. Okay, good. All right, so we finally did that one too, the stupid fox. Okay, right, harvest. I don't know, was the fox trying to eat my frog? What's going on? All right, let's uh, spray for bugs. Both of these large crops have bugs, which is just just lovely, isn't it? Okay, spray, keep come on, keep spraying for bugs. Yeah, I know your social is rough, dude. Oh, hey, Agnes. I want to ask for advice. Get to know. Let's have a Henford heart to heart with Agnes Crumblebottom. You know what, Agnes? Sometimes I just feel like you get me, you know? Like, I feel like you get me in a way that others just don't. So I'm just going to... Try a little, try a little flirt. The nerve of some people. Public display, displays of affection in my town is not something I tolerate. You'd best behave yourself around if you don't want to get on my bad side. Oh, are you trying to get fresh with me, young man? <laughs> Take that chick somewhere else. Well, I had wished you told me that before I did. Oh boy. Here comes handbag. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that looks rough. Okay, so don't don't flirt with Agnes. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, uh, I'm gonna get back to weeding my garden now. Thanks for nothing. All right, looking pretty good. Should I fertilize again? May as well. Apparently I can, so I'm not really sure how this fertilizer thing works and why I still have it. Oh, fox. Disgusted taste of chicken. Mmm, it's really good. <laughs> All right, now, do I have stinky food in my inventory? What is this? Yeah, that's spoiled. So I'm going to put that on the floor. Um, I don't know about the, the ingredients. Oh, this ha this actually does spoil too, the milk, which makes sense. I assume so. I, I was, uh, The other ingredients like flour and sugar, I think we're good with. And the egg, maybe? <gasps> Ooh, we got another plant. What is... 
So we have an egg. Uh, I think we can... <laughs> the little moodlet. I think we can probably sell all this stuff, which uh, later on, obviously, I won't want to be selling eggs and all that because we'll use it to actually cook. But we don't have like a fridge or a kitchen or anything where we can actually use it. So we may as well just sell a bunch of the stuff we don't need. Oh, look at those chocolate berries. It's getting me $30. Sell the egg, sell the lovely mushroom. I'm not sure what the... Oh, I have wrapped red meat? Damn! I'm gonna sell it though, because I don't need it. <laughs> cool, 63 bucks. All right, creature keeper dude. I gotta give him the fox report and I get another $90 too. Where is he? Is he here? No. I'm actually going to travel to this house here because I think that's closer to the creature dude. Oh wait, no, it's there. No, never mind. I don't know. I don't know how accurate this map is. I just want to be close to that guy's house. All right. Where is this guy's house? Yeah, it's over here. It's not that close anyway. All right. Uh, is he actually home? He is. Okay, good. So I'm going to give you the fox report. I'm also going to check out any other mushrooms that may have appeared. Are any of these harvestable? Nah. Hey man, it took me like three weeks, but I've figured out about foxes. Okay, why is my camera up there? There we go. <laughs> Just discovered information about white llama. Oh, did I get wool? Ooh, we got white llama wool. We got an onion and we got a mushroom. It fills me with joy to see you bonding with the local wildlife, giving them attention while I was busy elsewhere. Please enjoy this assortment of odds and ends I scraped together to show my appreciation. Oh, cow clothing, cap and top. It's <gasps> I can sell it for 300. I can sell, I think I can sell it to you, can't I? Oh no, craft. Maybe I can sell it in town. Cause I, again, per my own rules, I cannot sell it just here, but that is worth so much. Okay, we have, we also have 400 simoleons, which is enough for a chicken coop, though I'm going to guess a chicken costs more than 15 simoleons. So we're going to need to also get some more money. All right, let's see what out of this stuff. Oh, actually, first of all, chicken coop. Yes, we did it. It's going to be here in the alleyway. <laughs> Sweet. All right, what color do we want to go with? I feel like that one because it looks like maybe he could have put it together somehow. I don't know. Now, obviously, I don't have any fence for it, so it's just going to sit there at the, at the end of my alleyway. Now, here above, it gives me a bunch of information. We can have eight chickens in here and or hens and chicks. Uh, there's no eggs ready to collect. It's clean. And if we have a rooster and a hen, they can actually breed and we can have chicks, which is pretty incredible. So purchase chickens, how much are they going to cost me? A hen chick is 75 but I probably want to get a grown chicken just so we can get eggs. Uh, so there's black hens, brown hens, and white. I don't know if there's any particular difference other than just different color, but they're all 150. Okay, so now we're gonna try and scratch together $150. Uh, can I also take these plates in my inventory? Cause I, I don't really want stinking plates on my lot. Oh, I actually cannot put this on my inventory. What am I supposed to do with it? I can eat it, but it's spoiled. Uh, I don't know. I don't own a bin, so <laughs> I actually can't get rid of that one. All right, let's go sell some stuff over here. Man, I really got to socialize more. He's, he's always sad because I don't have any social. All right, hey, what's up? All right, let's sell the mush. Oh no, these are not worth much. Llama wool and onion. Oh, my friend Scott. Oh, not Scott. Simon Scott. His last name's Scott. Hey man, Um, uh, can you give me some money? <laughs> do, do you take money? Uh, okay, so... Wait, what do, what do I have left? I've got to harvest that and do this. So neither of those are particularly useful. Can you give me an easy task? No, I don't want to buy items. What am I doing? I want help with an errand. Okay, hang on. Cancel, 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 cancel. And offer to help with errands. Would you like me to do anything particularly easy? 90 simoleons. Sure, I'll do that. What is it? Deliver cheese and a single serving of beef wellington. Literally just cheese? Okay, I just want to buy my first hen so we can get some eggs and we can have a chicken. It's gonna be great. All right, order food. So cheese, okay, <laughs> sure. One cheese, please. Thank you. And do not do anything with that. That's going into inventory, thank you. And then order one beef wellington, please. Thank you very much. I love how quick the service is here. It's great. And put that in my inventory. Great, so we've got those. Now all we're gonna do is go over to to old mate, what's your name again? Kim. Deliver cheese and single serve of beef Wellington. Sure thing, let's go. <laughs> Here you go, enjoy. Now give me my money. <laughs> $139. Oh, it's not enough. I'm gonna need more money than that. So I'm, I'm gonna need you to give me some more money. What's this one? You want some fresh ingredients? Can you bring some? Okay, well, what do you want? Two bundles of beige wool. Oh boy. I think you sell wool, so maybe I can just buy it from here. Because <laughs> I don't think I can get that myself. Beige llama wool. Oh, thank, thank the Lord I got it. Although it cost me $60 and you're only giving me $90. Wait, where did you go? Hello? Where'd you go? Ow. Oh, Kim. 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 Is that Kim? No. Kim. Are you here? Focus the camera. Oh. You're, oh wait, hang on. When did you get that? I guess she must have been inside as I had it paused. 
<laughs> okay, friendly, hang on. Deliver beige wool, there you go. <laughs> Do you want me to just go? I know she wasn't specifically asking me to go over there and buy it, but look, if I had my own llama, I would have given it to you that way, but I don't own a llama yet, so there you go. Okay, we have $169. <laughs> hey, and that means we have enough for a chicken. Oh, and I actually probably got some other stuff from all those as well. I always forget that they give me a bunch of other things. Livestock upgrade part. I didn't even know that was a thing. And I also, what's this? Free grocery delivery. Oh, that's actually really good. I need like a fridge or something though. <laughs> Somewhere to put food. You know, well, like I need to buy the I need to buy the barn that we're planning on buying. I need to figure out how much that costs. Alrighty, let's uh, purchase a chicken. Let's get a brown hen named Hentha. Get it? It's kind of like Heather, but it's gonna be called Hentha. <laughs> Where's my hen? Oh yeah! Name brown hen Hentha. Beautiful. Uh, Chaz unlocked a recipe for pumpkin treats. Um, oh, this is a gross. This is uh, from Kim. I appreciate the value of a full day's work. The grocery shop doesn't run itself after all. Believe me when I say how much I appreciate the effort you must have undertaken to gather the animal byproducts. Um, I, I, I just walked over the other side. That's fine. Anyway. Uh, okay. That's good. All nighter. Yeah, look, I don't have a great life, healthy lifestyle. We've got some good ingredients going on here though. So it's actually kind of impressive. Uh, I also have friendly treat, which is actually good. I can give that to my hen. I can say, give treat, friendly treat, if I can make it over there before passing out. Yeah, look, friendly treat. No, 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 don't kick the chicken. What are you doing? Socialize. Pet Henther enthusiastically, because I'm sure you like me and you don't, we just met and I stink, but, oh, oh my gosh. That is actually kind of the saddest thing. That's just like, he's like, you're my only friend. Oh, Henther, never leave me. I cut my family off and I left them. And you're all I have in this alleyway. <laughs> Aw, that, that's sweet. Oh, don't hit it in the head, dude. Come on, man. Oh, it's jumping for joy. All right, so I'm gonna leave this part here. We're gonna we're gonna come back next time. His needs are terrible right now. Uh, everything's terrible. But we have a chicken. We have chicken coop. We got a bunch of plants. Hopefully, they all grow in the morning again. We can harvest some, sell them. Oh, before I jump off. The lot we're looking to buy is this one here, and it is 8,974. So that's what we've got to save up. That's like the next big thing. Because the other problem is, in our current little alleyway, we don't actually have that much room to do more stuff. And I'm not planning on moving the house out of the way, because that kind of seems like it's going against the spirit of rags to riches, you know? So to expand, we really need to buy that other lot. So that's the next goal, is to keep farming on a little alleyway. Hopefully the chicken produces some good eggs and, and we can sell those. And hopefully we can buy more chickens because we can have up to eight chickens in that coop alone. But until then, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.